welcome to the wind down. Welcome to the wind down. Hello. And with me as always is Adam. I'm Adam and with me as always is Jen. That's me. Uh, it is on the wind down. On the wind down. It is a uh, it has been a couple a uh, couple of weeks, but I see we have a few different options for winding down today. Dude, you said you need a hardcore wind down today I and do. I came through for you. You did come through. So right now I'm drinking Bishop's Peak. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, it's a lovely Pinot Noir from the central coast of California. Uh, I can really feel it. Sells for central. $30. It's just got a lot of silky fruit flavors that just brush over the palate, giving you nice flavorful flavors. It's flavorful. It's flavorful. There's flavors. There's definitely flavors. I can taste the Central California. And the flavors go down smooth, just like Central California. Just like Central Just California. like Central California. And all those L.A. hookers we had that one time. Well, that's what helps it make it go down smooth. It does. Mm, it is delicious. And look at this. I've almost finished this glass. It's going to almost be time for more wine. It is. And I'm so glad you brought one of my favorite bottles. You know which bottle that is. The rosé? No. I'm not a rosé girl. The Wisdom. I ah, love wisdom. wisdom. Great mid-price point wine. So delicious. Talk about Wisdom because this is my go-to if I do not know what to do. Sometimes when you're just in that kind of mood, Wisdom is what's going to get you through. You need the Wisdom. You need the Wisdom of life. And uh, this is a Cabernet from both Napa and Sonoma. So they source the grapes from neighboring counties and put together a delicious blend to help you wind down on a monday evening and what's the price point on that uh wisdom is fifty dollars so it's a nice very wine. good every day for me it's an every day i'd rather spend a little more money and not get the hangover and get the really nice wine you know Absolutely. It makes Mondays almost like Fridays. Almost like Fridays. Treat yourself is what I'm saying. Although at Sip and Say on Merrick Road and Merrick, we have wines ranging from like $18 up, right? Even $10 and There's, up. And remember, they're handpicked by a sommelier who will not be named. His name's Adam. He's that guy. I like to drink. <laughs> and I'm drinking for you. Yes. So that way every bottle you pick up is a winner. And every bottle you pick up Tastes like it's $50. And I do help out with research and development. As you must, everybody, you know, stop in at the right time, have a drink with me. Yeah, you can have a taste of some things that he has and just really phenomenal, phenomenal selection. Um, and it's curated. That's what really makes Sip and Say different is that it, it is curated by a sommelier. You cannot go wrong with anything yeah, you choose. Listen, There's... nobody wants to be generic anymore. No. So. No. Shop with someone who's shopping for you and not just... And that's why he is best of Long Island again for... It was, is this your tertiary year? Tertiary year. It's his tertiary year, which means three. We are so excited to have earned that accolade. And I say we as if I was involved, but we'll pretend. You've helped me mentally get through this yeah, this last year. I was so. the mental support. Um, but Wisdom is one of my favorite wines, and I highly recommend if you're on the fence, if you're not a big wine connoisseur, but you want to try something, it goes down smooth, it's nice and warm, and it'll really get you through what you're going through. And then we have this lovely rosé. Which we'll talk about more in a little bit, we'll because we have a guest that loves rosé, and that's yes. who I picked it out for. And Adam always aims to please when we have guests on. I'm not a rosé all day, girl. You know, I'm not, I'm not really like a, it like goes right to my head. I'm a rosé all day girl. <laughs> Summertime at the beach. Yeah. Well, that's when we sure. use the, the rosé in the can. Yes. That's or perfect. bottles. Or, or in bottles. your thermos, water bottle. Everyone thinks you're hydrating. You're just drinking. You're just drinking. You're dehydrating, actually. Which is good for the sun, the vitamin D to get in to your Absolutely. pores. Absolutely. If you're too hydrated, you don't get up. the vitamins. That's... Not science. That might be science. I don't know. We're not scientists. We're not science. Disclaimer. We're not scientists. <laughs> we're wine drinkers. <laughs> we're sommeliers. Or someone said before, alcoholics. I'm like, we're sommeliers. What do you mean? And I've just joined up that I'm also a sommelier. That is It totally just means we don't have to go to the meetings. We have our own meetings. Right here at the wine down. At the wine down. So I just came from a wake. Can you believe that? I know. And it's so funny. How do you respond to, I just came from awake? <laughs> you know what? I had a Surf's hard time. Surf's up? Surf's up. 
I had a hard time saying goodbye to people because I was like, enjoy, bye, have a great <laughs> night. And I'm like, ooh, that's ooh, not good. that's awkward. So then I started getting, I, I went like on the religious tout and I'm like, peace be with you. Mm. You know? Have a blessed evening. Have a blessed evening. And yes, yes, enjoy. I still do enjoy. See, like, I just, I'm not good at wakes and I'm like cracking jokes and like, you know, it's just not a, it's not a place for me, but it's one of my very close friends, Katie, her father passed um, and he was a wonderful man. So it was a really good time. The place was packed, which was amazing. And I got to see her family, whom I love very much. So well, let's oh, lift a glass to, to Rick, to Rick, to Rick. Um, and it's a wonderful family. It was at NF Walker and Merrick, which is a great funeral home. Hmm. I'm going to probably pass through those halls one day. So, you know, if you're ever looking for me and don't know where I am, probably at the funeral. I'm probably dead. I'm probably <laughs> dead. You probably won't find me for a couple of days, though. So, probably not a good scene for me. Not until they start putting missing people on wine bottles. <laughs> you know, that's a great idea. On the boxes of wine. On the boxes of wine. Have you seen have, this person? Have you seen this person for the adult missing people? I think that's brilliant. After, like, the fifth bottle, I'm going to be like, you know, I think I have seen that person. <laughs> Let's go find that person. <laughs> Is there a map? <laughs> so we both had really busy two weeks. I did that Purim bingo. Oh, tell me about that. Hampton. Oh, my goodness. So I'm not Jewish, but I got to meet a plethora of wonderful Jewish folk. Um, the West Hampton synagogue it was very nice it was west at the, hampton you say i went all the way to west hampton and it's not as far as you think it was only took me like an hour 10 to get there in the rain it was when it was raining on that saturday and it was lovely we did bingo there um you graciously gave me some wine to give out as gifts and they were it was well received so everyone had a blast and previous to that i have an even better announcement my little girl had her fifth birthday Oh, very exciting. Yeah. I'll have another drink. Well, yeah, have another oh, drink my God. Guzzle, 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 um, guzzle. She had a lovely birthday party in Belmore at Matt's, and all of her friends from school came. And, you know, I, I just, I always have to throw this in there. I, I am a special needs mom. And if you are a special needs parent or someone who takes care of a special needs kid, throw the party. I know people are worried people won't come, they're worried about what will happen. Throw the party. Because everyone's going to have a good time. The kids had a friggin' blast. They were all over the place. Bubbles everywhere. It was awesome. I gave out favors that were like kites that you could decorate with markers. Hmm. How cool. And bubbles for like the spring season. I like a good kite flying. I love to fly kites. I really Very do. Very soothing. It's, it's just something I like to do. But um, she Fun had fact. an amazing <laughs> time. It was so fantastic. And I think... Um, we talked about my perm. You had let the week before you had a wine tasting for a temple, right? A bourbon tasting. We had a whiskey tasting, yes, at one of the local temples. It was a good time. It was a great way to connect with the community and uh, drink some whiskey. Yes, yes, because bourbon always brings people together. And there's a difference between bourbon and whiskey, right? Uh, whiskey is just the bigger category, uh, and bourbon is just a subcategory of the bigger picture. Understood, understood. We also had another special birthday. Your mother. I, yes, uh, that is very true. That is very true. Uh, <laughs> and you guys went to one of the best restaurants on Long Island. In my opinion, we did. It's a place called Mosaic in St. James, and they have a very different uh, way about them. Uh, the menu changes daily, which is cool. Uh, five courses, but everybody technically eats the same thing and then technically doesn't uh bring that out a little more what do you mean you don't get a menu they just bring you out courses okay but they ask you ahead of time what are you allergic to and what just don't you like if it's in here you're not going to eat it you're not going to eat the dish and they'll cater whatever the hell they're cooking specifically so it doesn't have any flavors that you won't like oh so i would just be like i don't want to be sober <laughs> and everything else is fine, pretty much, for me. Well, that's... Uh... Actually, I can only have um, wild-caught fish. Okay, well, if that's if that's really a thing. It is a thing. <laughs> no, it is. Because the farm-raised fish have an antibiotic in it ah, that I'm allergic to. Makes sense, sure. So I get these awesome J-Lo lips 
if I eat it, but then also like my throat closes. So a you little. could say no seafood. I'm. I like seafood. I'm, it just I'm needs seafood, to be the fancy. No shrimp. Uh, excuse like me, no that's the opposite. Food, yeah. I'm no seafood. Yes to shrimp. Yeah. Uh, but I say no beans. I say, you know, uh, maybe you say no cilantro. I would hate that if you said that. Because I would we never wouldn't be say friends, that. But I would never say that. <clears throat> maybe you say no beef, no meat. It's terrible. It is terrible. It's a sin. Did they have like crazy presentations? Because I once saw this place that like made this soup, but it was like in the mold of the chef's mouth and you had to like. That's really cool. That's disgusting. Uh, That's disgusting. They do. They bring you the soup with a bowl and all the things that are in the soup are in the middle of the bowl. Uh, all the, you know, fancy things that they put around it are on the side of the bowl, but there's no broth yet in the bowl. And they bring you this beautiful, this is what your soup looks like. Now let's drown it in broth. Mm. And they let the oh, they let the waves crash back in and mm. flood out the Dead Sea. No, bad reference. Waves. Bad soup reference. Anyway. <laughs> good it's soup. a really good cool soup. presentation that the broth comes in afterwards. I, and I love a good soup, though. You get to see what's in your soup. Instead I, of just going in blind. Well, I hope you see what's in your soup. Usually soup is like pretty transparent unless it's a cream-based soup. This was a darker soup, like a mushroom-based soup. So uh, I, I'm a You know, I like a good soup. It was soup. so good. You know what I don't but like? But you can't ask for more. It's just, That's it. That's what you're being served. That's what you get. You get what you get and you don't get upset. But although your mom did have a restriction that you forgot to mention, they, they accommodated it quickly. Absolutely. Uh, you know, you think about what kind of food someone doesn't like. Nobody thinks about preparation of food. And uh, mom was not a fan of fried food. And we she got a little fried food. They took care of it just like that. Replaced it with something. She had a delightful course. Amazing. It was superb. I can't wait to give it a try. I thought I had gone before, but I don't think We're so. We're going to have to go there. We're, We're gonna just going to have go. to go Jen and Adam it up at Mosaic. I worry about Jen and Adam it up, though, because we get crazy. We get crazy. We get crazy. But also, um, I do have... Uh, so, another thing I did last... Not this weekend, but the weekend last. I actually had a show here. Really? Uh, yeah, I did a show here. Um, it was for the other podcast, uh, See You Next Tuesday, that plays on this station as well. And it was um, it was really great. The whole place was packed out. Tell and... me more about this uh, <laughs> See You Next Tuesday. I'm not familiar. See You Next Tuesday is a podcast that has two of my favorite See You Next Tuesdays, Kathy Anderson and Emily Santosis. And they put together this great show. Um, the place was packed. There was not a seat in the house. It got to the point where like we had to pull benches. Um, we had an amazing time. I got to do some crowd work, which I really like to do. Mm. And it was just an overall like really fantastic time. So um, that was here at the studio. And I hope that the studio does more things like that because it was a really great night. My parents were here. I started it off by asking my mom because you know how she is. I'm like, mom, do I look OK? And she was like, no. And I'm like, great, I've disappointed my parents again. Fantastic. But at least it's a trend that I am going to. At least with. you didn't do it in front of a whole crowd of people, so. No, I did. I know. <laughs> my mom was like, no. I'm like, geez, Louise. But it was really nice, and we had a great time, um, and, and that was fantastic. And then coming up on the 29th, um, we're going to pull the flyer up at some point because I don't know anything. I have... Comedy night at Lila's Bar and Grill. I believe Joe Pontillo pulled this together. You have all these amazing people. Um, Steve Rocco Perillo, who I've worked with before, who's amazing. Um, Mo Meltz, who I think is just the sweetest thing in the world. Um, and the rest of them, I do not know. But I'm looking forward to getting to know them. Um, it's going to be an awesome comedy night. It's Friday, March 29th at 8 p.m. Get there at 7. Make sure you um, get your tickets. I think it's just a $10 cover and like a one or two item minimum, but... Is that this Friday? I think that's this Friday. Is it this Friday? Because my life is moving so fast. <laughs> I literally had my daughter's birthday, then I had bingo perm, and I was, like, running like crazy. This Friday? I don't know. I might uh, have to check out some comedy in East Rockaway. Yeah, and at least we can hang out. I love I love when Adam comes to my comedy shows because we totally just, like, chill and hang out afterwards. And if you guys come to my shows, I usually end up in the audience anyway drinking wine with Adam. Doing shots. Also doing shots. And our favorite drink of the... I actually had this recently at a restaurant. I went to Baccaro, and I had um, Hendrix Gin, 
soda, and St. Germain. Very nice. It is our, we have to name this drink. This is like the Adam and Jen drink. We will come up with a name. This is going to be a new, uh, if you have any suggestions, let us know. Put what, it in the comments. What are we naming the Adam and Jen drink? <laughs> um, so we have an amazing guest today, and it's actually somebody that Adam knew, and somebody I am so glad to meet. Um, she, her name is Jen, spelt the right way, which is excellent. Jen Farrow. Right, Jennifer? Yeah. Oh, oh, great. And she owns Sparkle Sweet Treats. Um, she is just absolutely amazing. And we're going to have her up in very short, very short amount of time. So roll clip and we'll have her right up. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Well, that, well, video that was, was fun. I hope everyone had the mushrooms that we <laughs> slipped into the wine beforehand. That was interesting. That made that video a little trippy. So this is why Adam brought rosé. It is a Provence. Uh, no, it's not a Provence rosé. Spanish rosé. Jeez. We've been drinking this wisdom too much. Mm. Uh, but we brought it for Jen here, who uh, loves to make cookies and sweets and make people happy. And uh, we're going to find out more about her today and uh, how she got into this crazy cookie world. So I wanted to just start off. You're a dietitian. I am. That means that all these cookies are good for you. <laughs> no, they're, no, they're all good for you. She told me to have they taste good, three of these cookies in the morning. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Shame, shame. So what made you? If you're not working as a dietitian, I think that's perfectly I still, logical. I think that's I logical. Yeah, uh, but that's not still, how you're doing anything. So what made you think like I'm gonna start making delicious cookies? And let's look at these for a moment. Like, let's see if we can. These are fresh, fresh. Like I just finished them this if afternoon. We could, no, you can open, no, you can open the box. Come on, box. we're better show than how that. Gorgeous, they you are. My hands are clean. She needs to show you how well she put the box together. I am a cookie connoisseur. I love it. Look at this Easter one. He's a crappy Amazon boxes. So I'm talking about. So we have a hamantashen, which I said the word hamantashen like 40 times, probably like close to 100 times. Are we supposed to make a lot of noise every time you say that? That's when you say hamen. We've got eggs. Look at this egg, and it's a chocolate cookie. This one, and this one's a vanilla cookie. And you even wrote it on the back. Well, because I would normally put in a package because the icing wasn't dry. So I would normally have a label. Look at this little rabbit. Look at this little rabbit bunny. Oh, he's so sweet. I love him. An orange um, cookie with chocolate icing. Oh Which my one? god! And then you Make have another. Like, Make it hop. Oh yeah! Oh, look yeah. at that. Oh yeah! Now it's, you can tell what that is. Because I was looking at chocolate bunnies, and I was like, "Why don't I make a chocolate bunny cookie?" Oh my god! And look at this bunny cookie. And this, this is lemon. So cute! I'm gonna eat that at some point. So I, I claim one. that cookie. I love lemon. So I cookies. do make like sixty flavors. Sixty wow. flavors? Yeah. That's more than Baskin Robbins. I know. That's how you gotta have the edge these days. Yeah, You've got thirty seven, I've and, got thirty eight. And what are these? You got these amazing one So that's an M M&M M cookie. I've been making those since I was about 12 and I started babysitting, so I'm gonna attribute that to babysitting. Okay. That's the original M&M &M cookie recipe that is no longer on the M&M &M And package. so sugar. So you so can't get sugar. that recipe anymore. You know how I am with rare things. <clears throat> so. Let me get this straight. You made this while babysitting. Sugar is supposed to make the kids go to sleep, no, right? No, I used to do that with, with the little boy. Oh. So cute. We used, to, we used to do it together. When I babysat, I'd be like, where <clears throat> is the NyQuil at? She used to call me at school like, we miss you, because the new babysitter sucks. Aww. <laughs> um, and this looks like a chocolate chip cookie. It is, but it's vegetarian. I didn't know that. Oh, no milk. No, oh, Tell us no, more. There's, there's no milk in chocolate chip cookies. There's no milk in cookies? No, not chocolate chip. Oh. No, they go in afterwards. So it's plant-based chips, and there's no butter, and there's no egg. Let's do it. No, it's not, good, though. All right, I'm going to, you want to try this? It. You wanna let's try do this? it. Let's, let's do a taste of it. It's just crispy. What did you say was uh, not in it? There's no egg. Nothing good. Uh-huh. <laughs> no Missing butter. everything delicious. But it has sugar. There's sugar. Okay. There would be a lot of white sugar. sugar and Doesn't sugar come sugar. from animals? No, sugar comes from sugar cane. It's a plant. Well, that's a lot of cookies. <laughs> well, I'm letting you, like, pull off a piece. It's plant-based. 
Oh, look at look at my piece and look at your piece. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's let's get down to the nitty gritty here. So that's the one you choose to taste. So yeah. I used to make these. My brother. This would is make... the one I've chosen to taste. I've known <laughs> you for how long, and this is the first cookie of yours that I've eaten. Whatever. This is delicious. Thank you. That's very good. I know someone who is. That's why are I these gluten free? This, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's why I made them. Really? Wait, are these gluten free or just vegetarian? No, no, just vegetarian. They're really good. Wow. So, I'm like I'm like impressed. If you need vegan chocolate chip cookies. Wait, is it vegan or vegetarian? There's a difference. Oh, vegetarian. I guess it's vegetarian. It is vegan, but it's not like I can't do allergy stuff. Who wants some? So mm -hmm. look at them. <laughs> Come on down. Try some of this. The it's producer is asking for some but of the cookies. He me never comes out of his hole, but hmm. <laughs> we give him chocolate chip cookie that's vegetarian and he's like, I'm into Have this. Yeah, enjoy. This is delicious. Is it good? It's very good. Thank you. It's too good, right? Wow. And good for you. Listen, well, everybody okay. should be snatching this up. What's the website again? How do people, um, we're going to talk about it a whole bunch of times. But. It's sparklesweetsandtreats.com. All spelled normal. No weird abbreviations. Or I'm, like I'm like shook. I'm shook too. That was really good because I told you really I haven't good. had a chocolate chip cookie you in like two right. years. You haven't, said that. You now you may that. find My this hard to believe. My diet's going to go crashing down after tonight. Oh yeah, you may find this hard to believe, but I actually know quite a bit about dessert. I haven't been around the block, but... uh. That is delicious, and thank you. My goodness! Wow. Thank you. So I went to culinary school first, though. Which one? Johnson and Wales. Oh, like a fancy, fancy culinary one. school. Yeah. So this she's was no before nonsense. the dietitian. Yes, because CIA didn't give a degree at the time, so I have a degree in it. Oh. And so what said? Okay, I'm cooking. Let's do this healthy. No. Fuck it. Let's just do what no. I want to do. No, and then it was. It's only a two-year degree, so I continued with nutrition oh. for the bachelors. And then I worked with dialysis patients for a very long time. And now I'm home with my five-year-old son. And this is the opposite so of working So this is where with... this came from. So I could be home with him and make oh, some money. And I love that. And I really love it. And, and we really fun. have to drive home how professional and amazing these cookies look. This is something you would like see at like Bergdorf's during Christmas. Like really, really beautiful, beautifully made. And delicious. Get your cookies. Get me And these if they cookies. can make vegan cookies, uh, vegetarian delicious cookies. Yeah, the cookies. Yeah, I just, I, just I really, literally, I just, I, I bake Imagine these last what time this would them. taste they're, like. They're too pretty to eat. Full on though. GMO. No, don't say right? No, they're so pretty though. Like they're gorgeous. Thank you. The one that has the pinstriping on it like is them. so deep. I love and the My little plaid. tail. Uh, the, little it's like a plaid bunny with a little bunny, right? cotton tail. That is the tushy. I love tushy. Just saying, you know, we're on a. Wind tushy. down kind of show. That is Look at that little tushy. I'm gonna steal that cookie later. They're, they're for you. It's lemon. So. You're gonna let us take these home? Yeah, they're for you. What? This is the best day ever, except for the wake. That was not great. But this has been great. It's funny. <laughs> no. I was, I was gonna wear my funeral dress. <laughs> Every day is a funeral. Thank you for putting on some yeah. purple. Listen, this is. I just painted my bedroom this color. It's very. It's a very you know, lovely this, purple. This is our Easter episode, I guess. This and is yes, meals. of course, yeah. So yes. make sure you get your Easter orders in. She's on Facebook too, on um, Sparkle Sweet Treats Li. Sparkle Sweets. Oh, uh, Sparkle Sweets and Treats Li Two is Instagram. The Deuce. There is another one, so make sure you do the and Deuce. And Facebook is Li without the two. Yes, and I'm gonna share all of this on the Wind Down um, Facebook after this, so you guys can get in on this. Um, when is the last day of taking orders for Easter? Uh, it's like. Uh, like soon, like now. Yeah, get <laughs> your orders like in. Easter morning, like now. <laughs> and um, do you can where is your where are you locally? Do people pick them up? How does that work? Um, either or depends. You like on... meet at a police station? <laughs> no. no, that's that's like safe. I would do that. Uh, no, it depends on, depends really on where funny. they're located. <laughs> well, you don't know that people start are... picking out places to meet up for cookie drops. <laughs> People do that. People though. do that off Craigslist and stuff, they and do like that. when they you really buy do stuff. That. Mm. Yeah, they do. They meet in public places because it's safe. Sure, of course. There's actually like there was a sign I forget which precinct that had like a buy and sell drop off. So, so you would like actually go there together. I'll and meet be you Easter Sunday oh, at no, mass. Not, not, We're busy. Easter third Sunday. row. <laughs> I love five how you're, people I love over how to the Adam's right. Jewish, but he's all of a sudden converted to Catholicism mm -hmm. over cookies. I imagine that's yeah. how this works. <laughs> oh, you did pretty well. Do you have you the did goods? pretty well. That was pretty good, though. Then you're moving money. Is that for me? No, 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 no. It's for the cookies. Oh, my it's God. Not for the plate. Not but for the plate. If you are vegetarian, that vegetarian, I would not be able to tell. 
And if I had some milk with that, I mean, vegetarian, you might have oh, some milk. Maybe like God, some oat milk, need... almond milk. Uh, glass Imagine of milk dipping with that. that with uh, some milk. Oh. In some cow milk. Oh, uh. oh my God. Some cow milk. Just defeat the purpose some of rose. cow milk. A little rosé. Can you pass me the wisdom, please? Absolutely. Oh, thank you. The wisdom is drink more uh, on the wine down. So, so yeah, it's uh, we love having um, local businesses on. And your busy season is coming. Would you say that now, but during the spring is the busiest season? During Christmas? Like, what do you... Spring is busy because there's weddings, there's showers. So you do shower. weddings and showers. You can make bulk. I yeah. Oh, yeah. I, you know what? Oh, I yeah. uh, did some cookies from Jen for my co-worker's baby shower. Yes. The it's space so cookies. What were they? The space cookies that are on. The yeah, they page. wanted like. Uh, oh, I saw those. Yeah, those were from her invitation. I just. Yeah, That's they had so like a little cool. space theme going on. You know, they're trying to get the little man into space exploration. I guess or get him out of the uter. uter he's out. He's out. He's, 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 he's into, uterus. He's into uterus. exploring <laughs> space, like the living room and the bedroom and the baby cradle and stuff like that. So Aww. she made uh, Martians and. And, and these aren't printed people. out. These are like hand painted, right? No, they're all hand done. It's real icing. That's insane because they're so per you. You don't see. And I'm going to show this right now how perfectly spaced and beautiful this is. You probably can't see, but so perfectly spaced these dots, and then there's a little dot next to them. It is so perfectly done, and it's completely flush. So me, I'm a perfectionist. If I see a cookie that's got like a divot, like I'm going to eat it. But like, you know, I'm going I'm I'm to take note of it. I'm going to be like, that wasn't a perfect cookie. But this is absolutely perfect, diagonally done. The icing is absolutely perfect. I mean, you really can't get any better than this. And I highly recommend you, you order quickly for Easter and uh, whatever. You know, cookies are good for anything. They're good for bereavement. They're good for weddings. They're good for everything. If only you knew, you could have been showing up to the wake with cookies. I now know. I feel. I don't foolish. know what I don't know what they would have been shaped like, but uh, I guess like uh, do you do guillotines like, like caskets. Caskets. Like old I've done like coffins. angel wings. Oh, that's probably the right answer. Yeah, angel wings. <laughs> you think? I've done like uh, or just like a or with sympathy plaque with flowers. Mm. Maybe like a cloud that says sorry. <laughs> no, no, no good. I kept trying An to. An iceberg, you know. We can, we can always Google it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a well, Google swarm. While I was at the wig, I, I, I can't help but like try to make light of things and everything. And um, there were younger kids there, and I, I told them, I'm like, oh, you know, I'll pay you twenty bucks if you call nine one one from the funeral home and say, help me, I'm dying. And I thought it was so funny. I thought it was, and they just all looked at me like I was insane. Twenty dollars like, isn't anything these days. Yeah. You can't get people up? to do things. Is that things. what it was? Can't get, get good help for that. You yeah. can't, can't get. get good. But I thought it'd be so funny because they'd be like, "It's coming from the funeral home," and then they probably get it all the time. But obviously, they don't because nobody else thought it was funny but me. But bunch of stiffs over there. <laughs> Real dead crowd. Real dead crowd. <laughs> Real dead crowd. And it's so funny because people are introducing me and, and this is a family that's known me for a long time and they're like, she's a comedian. And I'm just like, please, please don't do that right now. And they're like, we this is not a time yeah, to like, be funny. Please don't do that right but now. But you know what? If you're celebrating somebody's life and they were a good person and, and you have good memories, why wouldn't you share good memories? I have memories of yelling at him being like, stop fixing this car. Let it die. And that's how I live my life. <laughs> and, and then he died. So. Car's not fixed. Car's not fixed. Actually, I think the car is fixed. Right. Yeah, so good, good for the car. Good for the car. But these cookies, like I said, if I knew, if I knew up front, I would have definitely gotten some. Probably, would you do like a bachelorette party too? Like a little like. I do. I don't do dirty stuff though. No dirties. I was gonna ask that because. Where, yeah, where is the line? Yeah, where is the I do lingerie. Where is the line? So you'll do like boobs with with a bra on them. I do pretty lingerie. Oh. I didn't see that There's on the Yeah, it's on there. I gotta look mm, again. I gotta, I gotta make no. an account and go look for that. I'll, mm. I'll tell you. My kid goes to Catholic school. Uh, <laughs> no. You gotta keep it clean. You gotta keep it clean. Also, yeah. props for bringing your kids I see to what's going school, on man. here on the bunny, so keep what's it clean. Keep, keep it keep, clean. You keep it's a bunny honey. tail. Uh -huh. I love I love that. Bunnies have I do tails. like the I do like the heart. Uh, you also can't see it, but the uh, the heart paper. wax paper is that wax paper? Yes. So where is your? You, I know it. you bake out of the home. What town is that in? Belmore. Oh my God! I live in Merrick. What is oh, going on in my life? That's it. We need to get cookies going. Veronica I mean, could have had cookies for her birthday. 
That's her name. Right? You don't know the yes, it is her name. <laughs> <laughs> you better know my daughter's <laughs> name by now. Oh my well, god. My son is Vincenzo. How old is he? Five. He just turned five. Oh, You're gonna that's get married. Made <laughs> <laughs> Can Belmore oh. date Merrick? Is that okay? Yes, that's okay. So. That's okay. That's okay. North or South Belmore? South. So I'm North Merrick, so now. <laughs> yeah, she's she's It's like the, you're like, more bougie. I'm a yeah. bougie. But I, you know, like. <laughs> but we go to Catholic school. We're not that bougie. I mean, isn't that even more bougie? I don't know. I think so. <laughs> I think so. I discussed. Yes Catholic. and no. Yes. yes and no. There's 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 both. Because otherwise, there. there's, 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 there's a little more. No, there's a little more humility. Yeah, he won't be driving a Maserati. Oh, that's, you, you have to pay for See, Catholic he'll school. be driving a North yeah. America car. Yeah. <laughs> he'll, he'll be wishing he he'll was be driving dating my a daughter. 1978 Grand Prix. <laughs> She's going to be driving my husband's 2006 Kia in like 2030. So we're all really, that car won't die. We're all really excited about it. Oh, I got a car. I know. Did I mention this? Yeah. Congrats. Thanks. I don't know if you mentioned it on air. I don't know. Just seemed like something to say. Is it physically yours now? No. So that's where we're waiting. We're waiting okay. for me to enter. We're in uh, it's a 2016 Malibu, but it was a mitzvah. What's the what's the in between part of life when you're not dead I'm yet? In limbo. Pur no. Purgatory. Yeah, that's where we are with the car. I'm just oh forever in purgatory. I'm always having to do something to make something happen, and then by the time I made something happen, something else needs to be done, and that is no longer important. Yeah. That's story so. of my life. Story of my life. So, regarding these cookies, back to this. So, these are done with M&M's, but these are Easter M&M's, I'm guessing? Yes, they're they like are. they're like lavender. Ooh. They are um, holiday M&M's. Yep. Look that is gorgeous. a, uh, fa like I said, it's the original recipe. You can't get it anymore. Can't get it online either. What do you mean can't get it anymore? You can't get you the M&M's. So, you get cannot it. make this cookie again? No, I can. <laughs> Adam. You Look. can't. You cannot make this cookie. She's What's so special whole, about it? That's what I'm trying you. to... I'm not going to tell you. Are you able to get special ingredients or there's like a special... No, special method. Wait, or there's a special... That's what I'm saying. Or is there a special like... It's the methodology. In between step that they don't tell regular people anymore. Like it's a different... shake the eggs. So like, you know how you go get the Toll House chips? Yes. Yeah. The recipes on the package. Yes. Uh -huh. well, I mean, if I get that far, I eat the shit out of okay. that before. So you the... have like a special scratch off here for the extra instructions. <laughs> well, no, we... go ahead. Listen. Are you listening? Yes. <laughs> I want Spanish. cookies. Don't do it in Spanish. Okay. As long as I get cookies, I'll listen So the ratio <sighs> for the ingredients is different. What? Um, Are you the... okay to say that on air right now? Yeah. We're going to have to retract that. Why? Because now people yeah, are going to go right. out there. Our they fans need... are crazy enough that they're going to go out there they and look for this chemists. extra step. They need and to be we chemists do... to figure it out. And we do want to give actually a shout out to a bunch of our fans recently. And we are just so happy. We have Diana Brewster. We have um, Vinavina, who I will never say his name right. Um, we have so many wonderful people. I know my mom's watching. I know your mom's watching. Um, so just keep on watching. And definitely order <laughs> these cookies. Watching? Yes. Hi, Mom. Yeah. His mom is lovely. His mom is... She I just had a birthday. And Happy she's... birthday. I had a birthday, too. Oh, what was your birthday? birthday. March 6th. March 6th. My mom's birthday is, I think, also the 6th. Yeah. Because <laughs> I drank a little bit. I think it, it is March 6th. Happy birthday, birthday to the March moms. 6th. So that makes you a Pisces. Pisces. Yes, yeah, that is fish. my mom's birthday for sure. Yes. You are the fishes. Yes. My daughter's birthday is the 27th, but we celebrated this weekend. And she is an Aries. Yes, she is. And she gets along very well with my dad, who is a Taurus. I don't know. I'm making this shit up. I have no idea. I'm a Libra. I don't know. What are you? Uh, Leo. You're like thirsty. Pass the wine. You're like really? Pass the wine. Really? I am? Yeah. Hmm. I didn't get that. You're very mellow. And he doesn't really? mean law yeah, enforcement right. officer either. <laughs> it could be hilarious. <laughs> I couldn't see that. <laughs> I, I want to get back to this chemist thing she said a second ago. What chemist thing? You'd have to like. She said that in order to make this cookie, she has to be Walter White. Who's Walter White? Well, she has the recipe. What? She has the historic from Breaking Bad. I don't even. Oh, watch I it, didn't man. watch Breaking Bad. Chemist. I didn't watch the chemist. Very famous chemist. I only saw our, the episode where the of our popular time. Where the so basically, top falls through the ceiling. This popular time. time. She has the historic document. To make this. Like yes. when bourbon producers are like, oh, we're using the recipe from 1860. No, so whoever has the original recipe from M&M's has the recipe. But I'm yeah. just saying, so, it's not the same one that's on the package today. Like, no. you buy an M&M So when package, Soup Nazi lost his soup, that's... Yeah. No soup for you. You were like, Maligatone. I got your soup <laughs> recipe right here. Yes. 
That is correct. I'm going to make it for myself in the How form of cookies. How funny is it, like, all the Seinfeld and, like, Friends craft that people say? <laughs> I don't know the latter. I'm not, so I'm I'm not a friend. My, one of my best friends is a Friends fan, and she always tries to, like, get me into good, it. Good, good, good. Like, I'm, not, I'm not in the loop on Friends. I'm not a but... Friends fan. I just don't get it. I didn't have any friends, so I don't need any friends. Yeah, I didn't get it. I love Where Seinfeld. It makes a lot of sense. We to are me. now friends. That yes. is different. And now there's cookies involved, so we've got some. We've and got wine. Big Vig, Big Vig here, and wine, yeah. cookies and wine. Although I do wish I, I wish we had like a cream. Oh, we should have brought that Irish cream and really gotten diabetes. You know what's really good? The chocolate. What's the chocolate stuff? Godiva? No, they don't make that anymore. The Maletti? Oh, oh the chocolate stuff's good. The chocolate stuff's don't, really like, don't give good. me chocolate it's like liquor. Chocolate syrup. Really good. See, you gotta go, you gotta go uh, uh, loiter in the you gotta go loiter in the store. Don't give me chocolate liquor. I loiter. <laughs> like Homer Simpson drool right now. Like uh, See, oh, I try to avoid yes. sugar, but if my sugar happens to be in the form of some sort of alcohol, I take a pass. The chocolate stuff is really good. It's good in hot chocolate. Ooh. It's probably really good on ice cream in the summer. Yeah, absolutely. Probably shake it up into a martini. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Put it over some over. good humor or Mr. Softy when they're coming what around. What did I buy it? I bought it in the fall. Yeah, sure. We're just getting into the summer months, so we've got a whole new line of exploratory well, drinks. Well, now I have my rosé in a can. <laughs> Oh my, we're so about wine in a can. Summer is going to be Well, that's how this it. happened, because I thought that rosé, well, because I knew that rosé was like a byproduct of red wine, but I thought it was like junk, because I knew somebody that drank it in a box. And because White all. Zinfandel, you know, tainted the... Right. All right, listen, we talked a lot about this pool. historic cookie. Let's all give it a try. Because I, I, I can't hide You it. have to now. You have to tell me oh, what's different about it. Oh, just so you know, too, it. because I brought these... All of my cookies are individually wrapped and heat sealed if you buy them. They're not wow. this they're not this fold over no, junk. Thank you. you this is the historic I can't. cookie. That's my brother's favorite I cookie can't. in the whole Why? world. Why you can't have a little nibble? You no. have to have a little, a little nib nib. No. You eat the vegetarian one, you won't eat this um. one. <laughs> I've been making this one since I'm twelve years old. I've had my sugar content for uh, I really can't. I no, really you have can. no I'll idea. I'll try Adam. one of these cookies over that. Adam really? has been taking yeah. care of himself. All right. Well, you've got chocolate well, Can orange. I not? I'm if I take more. the ears off, will the rabbit still be able to hear? No, oh, but it doesn't matter. Know. It's a cookie. Who cares? Okay. How is it? To be honest, the rest of candy uh, scares me. and it's very so... buttery. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's really Here, good. Let's switch. This is almost finished. It's we really good. Speed. Really now good. it's milk chocolate, not semi sweet. So it's Ooh. different. It is really good. It's definitely well, different than the other one. Chocolate. Is the it juice so, catching different vibes? What, you know. So would you say this is more rich? Less rich. It's Less a, rich. Probably a little sweeter. It is sweeter for sure. I don't know anyone named Rich. No. Dick. <laughs> is that in there? Is that what you're tasting? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I wouldn't know what that tastes like. Um, Look at my cool new glass. Ooh, one it says your name on it. With one N. The she diverted because she's like, my kids go to Catholic school and I don't make dirty cookies. Do not make dirty jokes around me. I, I have a mouth Make like a sure my driver. glass has one N. Yeah. I do. And everybody knows that I do. I have a mouth like a truck driver because I've been in the kitchen with men since I was 14. I also work in male-dominated industries. And, and when... for all the education and all... And, and, and nutrition is all chicks. It's all girls. It's like random guy mm -hmm. here and there. I need so if to you're start dude, taking girls. some nutrition classes. <laughs> it's all girls. So dude. It's all girls. This is really good. As a matter of fact, so Frank. Yeah. His restaurant. Yes. I went to school with a guy that worked at his restaurant. Small world. Angelo, one of the five guys that I went to school with. That did nutrition. They didn't do burgers. Five guys. I got it. Uh, I got it. I got it. Uh, no, different five guys. I got what you were throwing down. Is I that Street it. to Table, Frank? No. No. Oh, no, awesome. Frank. Uh, Venery. Yes, Venery. It's a. We'll, we'll, we'll get him. We'll talk about him in a future show. We'll talk about That's it. That's fine. I just. Cause yeah, you, you know. of course, of course, so, of course. Something crazy. Yes. We're... These are so good that I almost feel like there's some kind of marshmallow in them. There is no marshmallow. She can't it's tell you. She's been sworn to secrecy. No, well, there's she's no never going to tell me anyway. But it no, is but very I would have to put sweet. that if I if I had had a label. Oh, I would have put, true I would that. Have put that in there. Oh, yeah. So when you put a label for ingredients, I can tell you what's in there. Do you want to know what's in there? No, I'll tell you. I want you to keep the secret. No, there's no secret. 
It's just the amount. I want to say that it's. I want to okay. say that it's just like cheer, like holiday cheer is what you're putting love, in there. Love, love, love. What's the love. I taste and the love. I just wish the love was less calories. Sorry. That's, okay. that's why that's, not that's why fault. there's the vegetarian version. Which those were made with love too. Those also were also made with love. I, I'm, I'm sure those are double the calories. Anytime anything's like vegetarian or vegan, it's um, so bad for me. I once went vegan, gained 20 pounds. Shut up. Really? Swear it, swear. Because I was eating carbs and shit. It's horrible. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I'm a bad vegan. I was just like, what tastes good at Trader Joe's? <laughs> and it was horrible. Yeah. Yeah, because you weren't eating vegetables and fruit. No, I was bread. not. I was like, "This is vegan," and then yeah. It Didn't would be cool if you made the vegetarian cookies in little bunny shapes like this, or like meats, like fake meats, like a little <laughs> other thing. Meat, like just a like steak. a cow, a, a steak would work yeah. out too. A little pig, a little piggy, that'd be cute. That'd be. Wrong. I mean, somebody chicken to... wings, vegetable <laughs> cookie, you know chicken what I wings. Love? Somebody made a whole like wing platter. Uh huh. With just cookies. Yes. I love that. And you know what the thing is, right? So these are very, very simple. You know, I can bang these out real quick. Say what you want. Those are extremely No, I'm just intricate. saying because, be, no, because, like, I've made stuff. They take hours to do. People don't realize they take hours and hours Well, to on do. the TikTok that we have up on social media right now, on Instagram and Facebook, we actually have these beautiful bunnies that are three-part cookies. They're four. They're four Four-part cookies. Yes. And they are absolutely stunning. Jen yeah. has nothing to do. Please order some cookies. <laughs> I thought you meant me. I'm like, I don't have. No, anything. I mean, like, I use an airbrush. I use stencils. Oh I have... Oh my, the thing hey, Mark, can I, I make some pizza? No, get out of here. I'm making cookies. <laughs> yeah. I actually, I have, um, I have a 3D printer. So um, on my Instagram, there are, there are teddy bear cookies that I made for a baby shower recently. Hmm. From the invitation, I actually made. You like scanned it and made it? No, no, no. I oh. made the, the cookie cutter for the the balloon. Wow. Oh, she 3D printed a cookie cutter. Yes, I make my own cookie cutters if I need to. Y'all, that is advanced technology. You that's... ain't never heard of nothing like that till today. I'm telling you what, yes. that's crazy. Because you can buy them, but it's so expensive. It was actually cheaper to spend the lots of ridiculous money on the 3D printer, figure out how to do it. Wow, we are ever. taking things to yeah, the next so level here, forever. people. If you want a fancy party and you want a specific shape. If you shape, want an egg. <laughs> so like even for shape. a wedding dress. For a wedding dress, like if, you, if you're a bride and you, you want your, your wedding, wedding dress. dress Ooh. I can do that. Ooh, wow. wedding, wedding Jen would have been on top of that ish. Are you kidding? Ooh. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Wow. I am sad I am married and did not do that. I need to get some cookies for. I've done it. I've done it. I'm going to get this. cookies of my cat printed up. Let's do it. Zoe! For my Zoe's second birthday. Well, Let's get a, some. I have a printer, too, that I can print photos. Perfect. I'm working on the one that you can print right on the cookie. Oh. But oh. that I got to, like, sell an organ for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very expensive. Adam's got a couple printers. There's some shop. extra organs, the... so there's things that you don't need. <laughs> I know. I, I have two, I, well, I know, because I, I worked in dialysis. I have, I have two knows. kidneys. Appendix you don't need. Yeah, I don't you know, know what you would do with that. I don't think anyone though. messing with that, though, because no. if they do it wrong, you get up with paradigmatis and die. Does anyone ever need, like, a new <laughs> appendix? Do you, like, no. ever no, take one out and then put it in someone else? I don't think so. No, you don't need an appendix. It's no. useless. Yeah, supposedly it used to do something, like, take remove the hair or something. That's why they call we them like, appendix. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's extra. Because <laughs> it's the appendix. Stop. Uh, Come on, guys. Let stop. Me. I'm dead right now. I just learned something new. My mind's friggin' blown. Very nerdy. My mind's blown. <laughs> no, with... thank you. How yeah. else would we get to this cookie stage of life without having this level of wisdom? Oh. And I'm not even drinking it because I hate red wine. Oh, my God. But this. I, you know what? That's not true. What's that? More rosé? Yeah, Here, rose. keep drinking. Glug, 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 glug. I do glug. like a nice red Zinfandel. Ooh, that's with a nice fancy. Steak, with a nice strip steak. Ooh, I like a nice steak anytime. Nice Let's go for out for a nice steak and have a nice Zinfandel. A rare steak or with like a, like a nice bourbon on the rocks with my steak. Uh, uh, bourbon yeah. belongs in like whiskey sauce for bread pudding. Yeah, that, that too. too. That too. Bourbon belongs in everything. Put a, put a little bourbon on it. That's what I'm saying. A little bourbon on it. A little bourbon, on, little it. bourbon right. on it. If you're going to do anything, pull See, that's bourbon. the other thing, too. Like, booze is good for dessert. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Goes with these cookies. I make booze margarita cookies. That are Ooh. actually boozy? No. I make margarita pie, though. There's, margar there's, there's tequila in the margarita pie. Does it burn off, though? Or is there... Well, it's... Uh, it's baked. 
if it's not, you know, like on the stove, it's it burns like, off because it flames a little bit, but it's baked. So I guess theoretically it does. Hmm. But I do make margarita pie. It's dynamite. But if you're not having it with margaritas, dynamite. then margarita you're losing pie. out. Dynamite. Dynamite. Boom. Dynamite. Um, it's a favorite. It's a crowd pleaser. I bet so. Because if, if you showed up to like a pool party with a margarita pie, they and it. then you had cookies that were like barbecue themed, like a little hot dog and like a little, little spatula, sunshine. Some sunshine. Like a little sun. A little, shades. Ba- little, bikinis. Oh, oh bikini boy. cookies. Oh, boy. I would go crazy. I would go. I would lose my mind. I do a Christmas in July and August party. So, because mm. everybody's birthdays in July, so I have to We're do it in invited. August. Yeah, of course. That's what I'm saying. Some We're of our birthdays are in August. Mm-hmm. And I, I do Christmas cookies in, in August. I love that. I love that. They do. They love that. Because you Is know it what? Santa with shades. You saw them. Yeah. Santa with a bathing I suit. I the whole tree. Yeah. You. That was, a whole tray. That was hours yeah. and days and weeks ago. Yeah. I made marsh- I made homemade marshmallows ago. for the fire pit. Stop it. I do. This sounds like the best party in the world. I do. Then well, there like, was the what? peanut butter thing. Michelle, if you're watching, you know the peanut the, butter thing. I'm the peanut butter week, fiasco. Jen. No, she loves the peanut butter thing. Okay, what is the peanut? I love peanut it's butter. It's like this peanut butter goo with peanuts in it and... And nuts and a goo. brownie base and peanut butter caramel. It's peanut butter caramel, that's what it is. I couldn't think of what it was. It's peanut butter caramel. You're talking my language. I'm here. What's and up? It's got a brownie base. <laughs> I haven't brownie left base. yet. Yeah. Peanut you're butter caramel in. and like a ganache top. Yeah. Yeah, that's a gen cake. Yeah. So All it's right. good. It's so dynamite. and we can order that from you? Sure. Sick. Because I used to, I used to always get I my. I can't um, cut it because it oozes. No, no, that's up to the customer home. to cut. Screw you! Here I, you go. Here's your cake. Because it looks don't ugly. Don't call then. me again. Yeah, no, it don't cut ugly. it. I'll just hold it up to my face and like bring it in. Because <laughs> um, that's that's just on my birthday. With the spoon. Sit there with the spoon. I just every year I'm like I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything. And then when I'm actually not doing anything, I'm like these motherfuckers. I do all kinds of cool stuff. You do all kinds of cool stuff. I don't do wedding cakes. No wedding That's, cakes. No wedding cakes. Nobody it's because she doesn't cakes. believe in nuptials. No, I, oh. I do. I do. I have a husband. Oh. He's quite delightful. <laughs> nice of you to say on air. Yeah, He's very quite nice. Delightful. Keep going. Yeah, cheers um, to our significant others. Yes, cheers. Yes, hello, hello. Cheers, cheers to your significant <laughs> others. Yes. Um, and to Adam going before my husband on all the birthday cards. Um, cheers. But, uh, yeah, because I don't want any crying brides for falling down wedding cakes and ruining their reception. Mm. Mm-hmm. It is. I have to say, I it's was a, a bridezilla. Ve- like, I get it. I was um, three stories up from my DJ, overlooking my DJ, and, and they were playing during cocktail hour, and cocktail hour was in a different part of the building. If only you had pregnant. cookies. If only I had cookies. Well, I had, like, they gave, like, a, we were in this area, they gave us, like, you know, the cheeses and the wines and whatever, but, like, I was pregnant that nobody knew at the time. I was, like, ten weeks pregnant. So I went outside and I, I turned to my one of my, my I turned to my bridesmaids. I'm like, am I being crazy? Am I being crazy? And they're like, no, you're not being crazy because I was being crazy. And um, I went outside and screamed so loud that from three stories up, the DJ heard me over blasting music and stopped. That's how bridezilla I was. Like someone needed some alcohol. Yeah, and also I had to have the uh, same people that catered the Hampton Classic, Philip Stone, cater my wedding. Oh, because duh. Of course, like, the Stone duh. family. Duh. I have no idea. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. Sly and the Family so, Stone. <laughs> sure, sure, we'll go with that. We also had Broadway lights out front, and like, it's so funny looking back in it. Where my, was your reception? Um, it was at the Cradle of Aviation. We got married oh, in the fancy. IMAX. Nice. Under the stars, and then, but uh, it was so funny because, like. Were people there in 3D glasses? I wish. No, they wouldn't <laughs> let us do any 3D because people can get disoriented. Because they they're were, drinking. Well, no, they were, but when you walked in, you got like a spritzer, but it wasn't like alcoholic. It was like just something for your palate because they were afraid people would get. Yeah, so we did the bored, ceremony yes. and then we bored. did the cocktail. Bored, yes. We did the ceremony and it was so cute. And then we did the cocktail hour in the museum. And I had, like, all these stations. It was great. Right underneath the bomber that killed all those people. <laughs> right I'll underneath remember the... that for life. Well, my family has a, a, a plane that's very significant to us there. And my dad was a helicopter pilot. Cool. So, like, I was going to ask you why. And my husband also uh-huh. um, did two tours of war. So we are, like, an aviation cool. family. Mm. I, li- cool. I like to fly. I'm going to eat some more of this cookie. Um, Tuskegee Airmen. And you're just right there uh, going, yes. Tuskegee. Do you know what you're talking yes, about? Yes, I do. <laughs> But they have this really cool plane called the glider that basically they would have on the back of planes and it would just have like the general stuff and some people like killing the last few minutes and, here. And they would just cut the glider 
And that's what it did. It had no engine or nothing. Yeah, it, it just, just glides. Down. It was crazy. They have a glider thing in upstate New York. Really? They have it's, one at the cradle, too. It would be a really weird name no, if it didn't airport. glide. Yeah, yeah, you people, can go do that now. We can go. We can go get a plane, and it, gl- it someone F-84? someone will pull us up. Yeah, and then we'll just glide down. No, I've is got, it off eighty four? No. Uh, there's no. It might be. There's no stewardess. It's like service, by Middletown. Though, so not even a cheese board. No, not even it's a like cheese board. forget it. It's no. like the. It's like this. It's um, they're almost like those styrofoam planes. Nobody, planes nobody, bigger, right? nobody <laughs> comes out and says, yeah, yeah. "Hey, here's a drink." No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't get a cheese board on a regular plane. Why are you gonna get one on a glider? <laughs> JetBlue has got like the menu, no. but you're like, you don't no, want to chance sucks. it. JetBlue sucks. What? You can't even bring your underwear on JetBlue. That's like my biggest complaint. You can't bring it on. Why? What's no, your you can't even carry your underwear. Like you, you like you gotta you gotta pay ten bucks for this and five dollars for this and thirty five dollars wow. for this and forty two dollars. We're gonna have to talk at, off air about this. This is uh. Yeah. No. I- I don't fly JetBlue anymore. All right. No I take, problem. I take Delta. They let me bring a whole suitcase. And of they underwear. And they don't underwear. charge me extra. Of underwear. Yeah. Just underwear. <laughs> of, just of, underwear of underwear. Of curling irons. Yeah. Of okay. soap. And underwear. Of whatever. I'm a little nervous because I have to travel soon. And I'm worried about like having the bring right underwear? liquids. No, I'm. <laughs> I got you covered there. We my, can... my underwear is fine. I don't know what's up with yours. But like I don't have anything <laughs> attached to my underwear. We can, we, can, we can fill all of those liquids with alcohol. No, that's my joke. Because like they don't tell you what you. Like even if you have the JetBlue credit card, uh-huh. they Mosaic. don't. That's is that different. a thing? It's called Mosaic. Yeah. The ca- credit card. We're, JetBlue we're credit card. Here. It's called it's Mosaic. Yeah. Anyway, you got plenty of time. The whole thing is like they don't tell you, like what seat you can get until you check out. What? Yeah. Oh, things have changed. I haven't traveled in a yes. long time. Oh, see, I fly all the But they used to be. I used to pick my seat, and they'd be like Mosaic boarding members. Yeah, I get that all the time. No. Yeah, I don't like, know what I don't know what Jen problems having because uh, all the time. Same right. girl. Just, seems like underwear gnomes issues. Yeah. I guess I have the right underwear when I'm checking in. <laughs> no, it's not the checking in; it's buying the ticket. The bu- even the buying the ticket, I guess they've got the right underwear. I, even, I, I show them. Something I pops up on the screen. I it says, I don't "Go anywhere." It says, "Show your underwear." <laughs> I'm like, no, really? This is, is a stop? This, this again? This is what we're doing for this terrorists? Again? They have the blue. Show your underwear? I guess that makes sense. I'm really okay I with it. I don't even care if it gets on the plane anymore, by the way. Usually on the way back, I As long I as the right underwear is being worn. On the way back, I'm usually so hungover. I've got no bra on, no underwear. I'm wearing leggings and a long shirt. Just to make things easier. It's like if TSA Listen, you only need the underwear like, when you're, you when you're buying the ticket. Do you remember when you said to get dressed to get on a plane? Do I didn't get, do that. Do you remember I, that, though? I, I do remember that. I said that, yeah. I, I, remember I remember other people who remember, used to get dressed no, on a plane. And I'm like, oh, that's really pretty so right sweet. now that you look so pretty right now. I'm in sweatpants. Thanks, yeah. girl. One time I took a bunch of painkillers before I got into a plane and some sleeping pills because I was scared. And there was a newlywed couple next to me. And I fell asleep the whole time. And then I woke up, like, time traveled. I turned to them, I'm like, oh, I hope you guys have a great honeymoon, whatever, whatever. And they're like, yeah, it would have been great, but um, you farted while you were sleeping, and it was awful. And I was like, <laughs> wow, really forthcoming of you to say that to me. <laughs> Enjoy your wedding. It's like, if that's a big deal to you, you guys will never make it as a couple. Like, mm. wait, wait till it. Preach. Preach. But anyway, if someone's sleeping next to you and snoring and farting, like, just let them go. Like, we're tired. Hey, I was in my 20s, though. I have no excuse for that, but... I got stuck let him go. I I got stuck in tarmac for five hours going to California once, and I uh, didn't let anyone. Off. I got stuck in Seattle, uh, going to Seattle, because um, they were landing Air Force One for some reason. It was after 9/11, so that was oh. a whole big thing. Air Force who? Air Force One. Exactly. And then got stuck on the tarmac with the LAX shooter. Oh my when god! My husband and I were coming back from our honeymoon. What a coincidence! All these we things happening. We did not know. They didn't tell us. No, I wouldn't So we paid for they first they class. Care. Didn't even get a damn bag of chips. I'd have been furious. So they canceled. So we and, and the reason why we were in first class is because I had my wedding dress because we got married in Disney World. So oh, you your wedding dress on, and it would only <laughs> fit in first class <laughs> no, because no. the seats are. No, smaller. but I did round trip because we had to carry the dress down. And it's like, how do you get your dress down oh. in first class? Unfortunately, I want to hear more about this, and I will, but you won't, because we're winding down at the moment. <laughs> Guys, get these cookies. She does everything except for wedding cakes, even some fun little pies and cakes, too. I do. Visit her at her website, sparklesweetsandtreats.com. You can check her out on Facebook at sparklesweetsandtreatsli. And then on Instagram, sparklesweetsandtreatsli2. 
And you can also check her out. We're going to have her featured on our page as well. Make sure you get these treats because holidays are coming. Thank you guys so much. Thank Let's you. Let's drink some wine. Drink some wine.